um, what I've got here is all the equipment that I'm going to carry with me um, whilst I'm running the TDS. Um, so I thought I'd talk us through what I'm carrying and why I'm carrying it. And then perhaps I'll do another one of these little video links um, talking about what nutrition I'm going to do for the race. So let's see what we're going to carry this time. So uh, most of these things are compulsory. Um, I'm going down the organizers uh, list from the website. It starts off with a uh, mobile phone. Um, so I'm going to be carrying that um, inside this waterproof pouch. Um, we then have to carry, as a lot of races now do, have to carry a, your own uh, drinking container. Um, so I've got this uh, pop-out one, um, which I used last time, which is dead easy to use. A little bit heavier than perhaps some, but I know it's going to work. It's not going to leak, um, so that will go in there. You have to be able to carry, when you leave a checkpoint, you must be able to carry uh, a litre of fluids. So I've got these Ultimate Direction um, soft flasks. But what I've done, I've, done made, I've added um, a sort of straw onto each one so I can drink it really comfortably without having to even take it out of my, um, out of my pack. Um, so I've got two of those. I'm toying with the idea of perhaps carrying um, a third soft flask which will pack down to nothing um, but some of the legs between the checkpoints it's probably going to take me over well over three hours so on those few occasions then I can take a bit of extra drink with me um, I've, plus I've got a spare if anything happens to one of these so I think I'm probably going to do that um, I've decided to go with my uh, my Solomon pack um, Although I will be taking out my ultimate direction one when I go out to Chamonix so I can make a decision at the last second if necessary. Um, you've got to carry your emergency forward blanket and I think they stipulate that it has to be a gold and silver one. Um, I think that's the same one that I probably used last time. Then with regard to head torches, I've got my usual one that I've used over the last couple of years. Uh, the uh, Lenser uh, 07 I think it is. Um, and as my backup, the second torch that you have to carry, I've got the usual um, Petzl e light. Uh, we've got spare batteries for both of those. Um, we've then got the first aid kit, which uh, for the races in Chamonix, it's um, a sort of sticky bandage. Plus inside that, I've got various blisters, blister um, plasters, and uh, I've got some twine um, in case shoelaces break. Um, I've got um, some creams, I've got various bits and bobs inside of that so that doesn't take up too much room. Then clothing wise we've got um, Berghaus Hyper Smock which is a ridiculously small fully waterproof tape seam jacket, less than 100 grams I think. Um, and then Berghaus have put together um, a pair of over trousers for me made out of the same material so I'm not taking too much weight on that. Then we've got some choices. Um, you can either carry um, a long sleeve top, which is more than, I think it's 180 grams, and you just have to carry that. Um, but I, I like running these tops anyway, but they're a bit lighter than that. So the other option is to take one light top and then a very small um, Pertex jacket. So I've got an old Montane one there. So those two things together count the same as one bigger, heavier, long sleeve top. Um, I've got my leggings which um, from my old sort of mountain marathon days when I used to race uh, wear those for the camp so that's that's what I'm using there. Then headwear wise you have to carry either a buff or a cap. I'm actually toying with the idea of maybe taking both depends what the weather's doing um, and then in addition to that you also have to carry a um, a, an extra warm hat so I've got this uh, beanie cap here which is a little bit warmer and then gloves wise um, I've got a pair of Berghaus uh, running gloves there and I've got um, some Gore-Tex over mitts you have to have waterproof gloves so that combination of those two works however these are quite the mitts are quite cumbersome when they're on they're difficult to sort of feed and even using the poles and that's quite tricky so I've got some surgical gloves 
which I'll just keep tucked in a pocket somewhere. So if it does get really wet, I can wear these gloves with the surgical gloves over the top and that'll keep me nice and dry. Um, I've got the uh, belt, where, which I'll attach my number to because you have to have your number showing at all times. So even if you put your jacket on, um, you need your belt, uh, the number over the top. So um, everybody seems to use these. That's what I used two years ago. Um, my passport. Um, and then we've just got some sunblock and lip balm. My GPS watch. Um, sunglasses, which hopefully I'll have to wear. A um, little MP3 player, which I'm going to change at uh, halfway in my drop bag. Um, my poles, which now I've just... It's a no-brainer for me. I'm using my poles quite a lot. I'm using them all the time in training for the last few months. Hardly done a run where I haven't used my poles. Uh, and then finally, I've got my um, a laminated course profile. Um, these times along the bottom here are just giving me an indication of... Um, how how long I've got between checkpoints and on the reverse side we've also got um, a rough outline of the shape of the course and then some key points about distances, amount of climbing, amount of descending um, between the various checkpoints. So that's all the all the bits and bobs that I'm going to be carrying with me when I race out in Chamonix. If the weather's worse then I can quite easily substitute in an extra jacket. I've got enough room in my pack. Um, I reckon that is probably half of the weight of what I carried when I did UTMB two years ago when I went completely over the top with kit. So we'll see how things go and I've got option of changing things around if the weather's not so good. So we'll see how this video comes out and if it's worked quite nicely then I'll, I'll do a similar one to do with uh, nutrition for the race. Thanks very much.